Hello there, Leo. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of February 1st through the 7th. Before we get started, let me just remind everybody I do have group mentoring sessions available for those of you interested in expanding or exploring your own psychic intuitive abilities. You can check out my website, look up my contact information, and just drop me a line to get in on one of those. All right, so let's looky, 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 Leo. Monday. What you have coming up is the Two of Swords showing up in reverse. And the Two of Swords coming up in reverse is telling me that on Monday you have a decision to make that you are procrastinating on. You want to make as fair a decision as possible, but you don't feel like you have as much information as you would like to have on the situation to make that fair decision. Excuse me. And what's going on here? Yeah, you know, is really that you do have enough information, but you've kind of got the blinders on. You're in denial about something. And whatever this is you're in denial about, you're not letting that factor into your decision. And so it's throwing you off. And I feel like for some of you Leos, you already, like as you're trying to make this decision, you know the decision that you really should make or that you really want to make, but at the same time, you're sort of looking at, oh, well, if I make that decision, then that means that this person is going to have to go through something that I don't want them to go through. And for others of you, it's, if I make that decision, then I'm actually acknowledging that this person is way out of line in their behavior about something and you don't really want to acknowledge that for some reason. You're not wanting to face that truth. Maybe you've really went to bat for this person and tried to make excuses for this person to other people and tried to build them up to other people and so now to say, wow, I told you this guy was so great, turns out he was a colossal joke, sorry guys, <laughs> doesn't feel very good. Uh, but there is some kind of element of denial, and those are just examples, so that may not be exactly what's happening with you, but there's some element there of denial, Leos, where you just, you have all the information, but you're just, you're refusing to see, you're refusing, for some of you, you're refusing to see all the facts and act on them in a logical way, but for others of you, you see them, but you're refusing to take action on them because, even though you see those facts, you're kind of in denial. Like you don't want to admit to what you're seeing. You don't want to admit that the picture is is really what it is for whatever reason. So that makes this decision really tough for you. On the surface, you're telling yourself, well, I don't have enough information. I can't make a fair decision. No, 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 no. That's not what's going on. You just don't want to look at the truth. And sometimes the truth is ugly. We don't like to see it. I totally get it. But that's what's going on with you Monday. And when it, when you're in denial to the point that it interferes with a decision, that means that whatever it is that you're in denial about is probably also interfering with your life and interfering with forward progress for you. So you really want to take a look at that. That's a big indicator that you've got a problem. You really want to um, build up the courage to really take a good hard look at. Okay, so enough advice. Let me get off the soapbox there. Tuesday, what you have coming up is the Temperance card. I like the Temperance card, kind of. <laughs> the Temperance card just means that you're feeling very patient on Tuesday, that you have some kind of situation that's going on that you're realizing that patience is the key here, that it cannot be pushed that whatever the situation is will happen in its own time and that you can't push it to make it happen faster. In fact, for some of you, I feel like if you push it, you actually push it back instead of pushing it forward. And so you're just being patient. You're sitting back and waiting and letting things play out they need to play as they need to play out on Tuesday. So I like it. It's a good card because it shows really healthy, good balance for you, Leos. Um, I don't like it so much for me when it comes up because I'm not so patient and it's hard for me to be patient. <laughs> but for you, it comes up as a good card. I don't, 
feel like most of you are struggling too much with this patience. I think maybe when you first run into this situation on Tuesday, you kind of try to push, but I feel like you realize really quickly, wait a second, that's kind of counterproductive. I'm going to back off now and just let things happen. So I feel like you get the idea really quick about what you need to do in that situation. Let's move on to Wednesday. So we've got the six of coins showing up in reverse. This is just telling me that on Wednesday, somebody is going to be asking you for some kind of help. This may be financial help that they're asking you for. The coins cards do generally indicate that. But help comes in so many different forms. This could be somebody that asks you for advice. This could be somebody that asks you for help on a project that they're working on. This could be somebody that asks you really for anything. So basically somebody's going to come and ask you for something on Wednesday and it's your choice whether you want to provide that thing for them or not. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Page of Cups. This means you get some kind of message of love on Thursday. And a message of love can be anything from the engagement ring and flowers and chocolates all the way down to a finger painting from the kid next door. <laughs> that says, I love you neighbor or you're a cool neighbor or whatever. So message of love coming in for you on Thursday. Uh, this card is really, really, really open. So you want to be really open about where this is coming from. Now, obviously, if we were doing a private reading where it was just we were looking at one person instead of all of the Leos who watch my videos, then we would be able to pin down a little bit more specifically about where the message of love was coming from and what type of message it could be, like could it be a ring or not. Um, but for a general read, because this can manifest in so many different ways, I'm going to say that it's hard telling for any of you um, individually that, okay, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. So all of you just realize your message of love could be anything from the little neighbor next door who does a finger painting all the way up to the proposal. Or it could even be, I actually am having this uh, vision, so I think this is going to happen to somebody. But this could be like celebrating a 50th anniversary. And your spouse might say like the most amazing thing that you're just going to be like, oh my God, I didn't know they felt like that. <laughs> so I think one of you out there at least is going to have a situation like that on your hands coming in Thursday. And I've been told that these um, don't always happen right on the day. They usually happen either on that day or a couple or one day ahead or a couple or one day before. So this could easily fall in the weekend too, like on Friday or Saturday. But anyway, message of love coming in for you Leos on Thursday or thereabouts. Now, Friday. Seven of coins coming in in reverse. I th wow. Five out of five videos have talked about money or material goods so far. So that's definitely some strong energy for this week coming up, Leos. Okay, so seven of coins in reverse. What that's actually telling me is that um, you're getting some money in your hand on Friday or in your bank account. Modern world. In your bank account probably but anyway you're getting some money into your possession on Friday and that money is pretty much already spent <laughs> if you don't already know where that money is going right now by the time it hits that bank account or your hand on Friday you will know that you just have to turn around and go Whoop, here you go <laughs> that money is coming and that money is going cash flow <laughs> All right, so Saturday, let's move on. King of Clubs in reverse. King of Clubs in reverse is telling me that you are feeling quite uninspired on Saturday. You just don't want to do anything. I feel like you may be feeling a little bit depressed. I'm also getting the feeling too that maybe that cash flowing in and out 
didn't really do a lot that was helpful for your mood. You may be feeling like your hands are tied because you can't do some of the things that you would like to do just because of finances for some of you, not for all of you. But King of Clubs in reverse, that is telling me that definitely feeling not motivated. You may be feeling blue, maybe feeling depressed. Um, really just don't want to do much. You may not even get out of your pajamas on Saturday, Leos. You may just lay in your pajamas on the couch and zombie out watching Netflix or something. So, um, yeah, just unmotivated day Saturday. Sunday. Big card for you guys on Sunday. You got the death card. I hate it that it's called death. We should call it transition and we should put a big butterfly on there. A caterpillar and a butterfly. <sighs> because, you know, the caterpillar transitions into the butterfly. But no, that's not how they do this deck or most decks. So anyway, big transition coming in on Sunday. When this card comes in, be a major arcana. It's a major shift. So this is not like one of your mundane things that's going to be going on like every day. So big transition. This generally has to do with core beliefs changing. And it's generally a process. It usually is not all accomplished in one day. So what's going on? Um, you have some kind of core belief. And for me, here's how I define a core belief. A core belief is something that you have learned to believe when you were too little to know better. Okay? So you're a toddler. Your parents are God. <laughs> when you're a toddler, you just think that your parents know everything, or most of us do. And so we're absorbing like sponges, picking up the, on their attitudes, their habits. We are really learning everything about life from them at that age. So that's when we're picking up our core values. And those core values generally stick with us through life um, unless we do something to change them. So an example of a core value you could pick up. Say that you're out walking in a field with your dad and he's in the lead and he sees a snake and he runs away as quickly as he possibly can. Maybe he screams, maybe he doesn't. That wouldn't be very wise. But either way, and so you get the idea from seeing how your dad acts about the snake, that snakes are terrifying. And if snakes can scare dad, who is like the biggest person that you know probably, whoa, <laughs> that must be terrible. And so you grow up with this total fear of snakes. Uh, so that's an example of a core value that we can have, okay? And how we would pick that up. Now you can pick up core values that are much more positive than that too. But when we see the death card come in, that transition card, what's happened is you're realizing that you have a core value that really isn't working for you. You learned something from your parents or your teachers or somewhere along the line when you were too little to know better that it's just not functioning well. Maybe it functioned great back in the day when they were coming up, uh, but now it doesn't function so well. Or maybe it never functioned so well for them either, but because you were around them, you picked it up from them. So you're starting to realize that this core value isn't functioning, okay? And then what you're doing is you're kind of looking around for, well, what would work better? <laughs> and then you're taking that old core value and you're throwing it out to the side and then you're putting in this new core value and trying it on and seeing, okay, does this, is this more productive for me? Is this more happiness making for me? And just working on tweaking that new core value. So obviously this generally does not happen just like that. This generally is a process and it can take a little while. But it's nice to see it because even though that transition can be very uncomfortable because we're afraid of change, we're afraid of the unknown, and we don't know what this transition is going to bring, the cool thing about it is when it comes up on a card like this, we're talking about a transition that is so worth whatever trouble it took to get to the other side. So once you get this new core value integrated into your life, 
you find it much easier to find your happiness and to walk your purpose. So very, very, very cool thing coming up for you on Sunday. Like I said, I don't think this process is going to be complete on Sunday, but it will be getting underway on Sunday. You'll be noticing it on Sunday, whether it started a little before then or whether it starts Sunday. So Leo, so that is your week. Thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here the next time. Peace out.